The Prime Minister, Dr. Banabasibusiso Lamini, says when talking about Swazi agriculture, the word sugar reigns supreme because sugar has been a source of strength for the Swazi economy. The Prime Minister was speaking during the farewell function of Dr. Mike Matebula, the outgoing CEO of the Swazi of the Swaziland Sugar Association, in an event that was held at the Royal Swazi Spa Convention Centre at Zulwini. With a report. The Prime Minister Dr. Panabas Sibusiso Lamini joined well wishes to bid farewell to the former Chief Executive Officer of the Swaziland Sugar Association, Dr. Mike Matsabula, who has retired. Dr. Matsabula held the top position at SSA for 19 years, having assumed it in 1998. Making his address, the Prime Minister said that when people talk about Swazi agriculture, the word sugar is never left out of the discussion because it has been the great pillar of the country's economy. The Premier says it has created a reliable income for thousands of smallholder cane growers and company employees, huge corporate profits for the big sugar industry players, and a substantial amount of revenue for government's coffers in the form of income tax and other revenue. Dr. Matsebula or the SSA under his supervision, would represent Swaziland at a number of important global forums such as the World Trade Organization, the International Sugar Organization, and the SADC Technical Committee on Sugar. He played a prominent role in the crafting of the SADAC Sugar Cooperation Agreement. During his almost two decades in the position of Chief Executive Officer, Mike oversaw the year-to-year -year numerous challenges in his highly effective professional manner frequently presenting to cabinet on sugar industry issues, as well as other more general trade matters. When trade reforms within the European Union gave rise to the elimination of fixed quotas and guaranteed prices previously given to the Africa, Caribbean, Pacific group of countries, Mike played a leading role in the negotiations towards what you, you might call a soft landing. In his and speech, Dr. Matsebula said well. all the achievements and milestones achieved by the Swaziland Sugar Association under his stewardship have been as a result of the cooperation between all stakeholders, the growers, the millers, and His Majesty's government, amongst others. We have built strong relations with government over time. The Ministries that we interact with uh, a lot more than others are agriculture, commerce industry and trade, natural resources and energy, as well as the uh, economic planning and development. But we also, depending on the subject, we deal with uh, other government departments as well as parastatals. I can just mention that in the case of parastatals, um, we have been uh, on a, working on a project to, to create a sugar museum. And one of the uh, cooperating partners is the Swaziland Tourism Authority, because this project will also be of great interest to them. This project is uh, being financed largely by the uh, European Union and it will be based at Tambankulu. 
The Minister for Tinkundla Administration and Development, Mtutuzi Lamini, who was representing the Minister for Commerce, Industry and Trade, on behalf of the Ministry, thanked Dr. Matsebula for serving the association with due diligence in his 19 years of service. Reporting for Swazi TV News, I'm Sibusi Songubane, Zulueni.